So uh, hypnosis, people have turned to it for help with weight loss, mm -hmm. they've turned to it for managing stress, mm -hmm. and then Michael Perez had a different goal in mind. He'd been diagnosed with cancer and turned to hypnosis to see if it could make a difference. Yeah, he's here to share his story, joined by Diane Rolfs of A Plus Hypnosis Wellness Center. Good to see both Welcome of you this back, morning. Welcome back, Diane. Yeah. Thank Good you. Morning. Nice to meet you, Michael. Yeah, you too, Thank Michael. You. Yeah, we want to get to this right off, because you had a specific type of cancer. What, did you, what kind of cancer did you have? I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did you decide to turn toward hypnosis? Well, I, I've been exposed to hypnosis and some of the benefits. And when you receive a diagnosis of cancer, you have two choices, basically. Is it a death sentence, or am I going to figure out and do everything I can? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go work with Diane, get my mind, body, and spirit all on the same page, and truly believe and not waver in the faith that I will survive mm -hmm. and they will cure this cancer. Mm -hmm. How did it fit in? D did you try other sort of those traditional methods of beating the disease, the chemo, radiation, we think about those things. Were those present in your treatment course? A actually, that, that was part of the reason that I also wanted to go because mm -hmm. they, MD Anderson was going to treat it with chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. Having witnessed people going through sickness and watching the pain, I knew that if I got with the right person and Diane at A plus mm -hmm. did a wonderful job. We worked together four sessions. She made CDs so I could listen to it. And basically convincing my subconscious mind, mm -hmm. owning and believing that these were going to be allies in my body and they weren't going to cause any of those symptoms. Yeah. And so what, where do you stand right now in terms of your cancer treatment? Where are you at right now? Uh, about three weeks ago, went for a six-month follow-up PET scan. Mm. It's all gone. That's wonderful. It's gone. Gone. That's wonderful. There are um, some other places you could have gone for mm. hypnosis. Why did you choose A plus? Uh, I'm I'm faith-based, and I feel that I was led. I opened up the phone book and mm. and there it was. There she was. Mm -hmm. Diane, uh, how did you go about this? compared to someone else who might come to you, and we talked about it, weight loss, stress reduction, mm -hmm. smoking cessation. When Michael comes to you and says, this is my goal, how did you approach it? Well, the truth is, um, in 1990, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I went through that. Um, two years ago, I had breast cancer, went through that. I had no side effects whatsoever of the physical treatments and things like that that went on. So I know how powerful your mind is. Mm -hmm. I know that you can get, you know, the medicine and what you have to do to fight the war on cancer um, is definitely something that you really have to think about and go through. But the side effects are optional. You do not have to have all those things if you just believe that this is not going to happen to me and you can visualize. Mm -hmm. Visualization is the biggest thing in the world. If you can put yourself in a place where you're calm and you're relaxed and you're happy, your body will take in what it needs to fight what it needs to and move on. How does hypnosis get that person to that point where they're mentally ready or um, get them to, to change their disposition on how they think about certain things? Fear is the biggest thing. Mm. The first time when they told me that, um, Diane, you have cancer. I was like, no, you must have the wrong person. You must have the wrong chart. It can't possibly be me, blah, blah, blah. I've had doctors come to me who said, I had one gentleman who said, he was sitting there crying saying, I'm a doctor. How could I have cancer? But it's the fear that causes all that negative energy in your body. Mm -hmm. And it works against the medicine. Well, stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've oh, done huge. studies it's on the impact huge. of stress on the stress. body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to others who might be in this position but are skeptical, right? How do you know that it worked? Maybe this question for both of you. Well, my answer would be you can pray about it, but most importantly, give her a call, go talk to her. She'll explain what it's going to do, and then you make your decision. Mm -hmm. okay. Have people asked you, Michael, are, are people skeptical? And what do you say to those skeptics? Uh, skeptics, well, the doctors that I worked with, the nursing staff, <laughs> mm -hmm. every visit that I went, so you having any pain? How about when you do this? How about when you do that? No pain, no pain, mm -hmm. no. 14 weeks of chemo, six weeks of radiation, they could not believe it. They're like, usually you can't even eat. You need a feeding tube? No, no, no. Well, here's how powerful hypnosis is. It's the, the belief. 
I went through all of that. I get to the second to the last day, and they're like, all right, well, you're going to, this is down in Texas, you're going to be going back home, and if we don't write a script for pain medicine while you're here, we can't do it after you leave the mm -hmm. state. Oh, well, the fear of loss. Oh, well, then I won't have pain medicine. Well, I was having a little discomfort. <laughs> Did you take the Writes script? Writes the script. Yeah. Went to treatment the next day, halfway home. Can't finish my dinner. Two weeks of pain. And I mean pain. Mm -hmm. Not swallowing water, food. Because that was the new seed, the new thought that I gave the power to. I must have pain because then I can have the medicine. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And then did you revisit the foundation, <laughs> Diane Lane? Yes. And, sort of realize, like, and of course, <laughs> the stubborn I did, me, I, I wanted to wait till I felt better to go back and see Diane. I can just see the look right, right. on her yeah. face as you're telling this story and yeah, you get the feeling like, there was more to it. You should have come and seen me right mm -hmm. away. Right. Diane brought in a special offer for our viewers out there this morning who, are, who may be yeah. considering hypnosis. Here it is. And this, is, this deals with uh, smoking and weight loss. Mm -hmm. So the smoking cessation special is $120, which is basically $30 off and then $100 off a four-week weight loss program. Right. So, and we have the same thing for cancer. We have specials for our cancer mm -hmm. clients and things like that, too. We encourage you to visit the website. I think that's a great place to go. And we were showing you a look at that live a moment ago. It's A+. Plus, you'll want to spell it out. A plus hypnosis dot com. Um, and Diane is local, so when you go to the wellness center, you meet with her Absolutely. or another member of the team. They don't just fly you in. No. <laughs> just talk on, on our show. And we've uh, been here 29 years, yeah. so yeah. it's not like we're going away or anything it like lends that. lends confidence. The history does. Yeah. Diane, thank you. And Diane, thanks a lot. The best of health to both thank of you. you. Yeah. We appreciate you thanks being here today. Glad to see you're doing well. Yes. So next, how technology can help you stay on track with your New Year's resolutions. Kat Schwartz will share her discoveries and from it, CES. Yeah, and in 945, comedian and talk show host Tom Green, where he got the ideas for his headline-making stunts.